What's up, guys? Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks, and I have probably the biggest, best new thing with OBS 24.0 that I want to share with you guys. It's the ability to dynamically manage your bitrate so that you do not drop frames based on fluctuating bandwidth. I know that's a lot of big words, but hey, this is probably going to make your live stream much better. And I got to show this to you, especially if you're new or you're not sure what your bitrate should be. This is a checkbox inside of OBS that you should know how to use. Let me show it to you guys. So here's my OBS Studio. I'm at OBS Studio 24.0. This is a release candidate. We support OBS on Patreon and Open Collective. If you're a big OBS user, I highly suggest that you support them there to help the development of the project. And this new feature is available in OBS 24.0. Not available on the website yet, but I'll give you the secret beta link below. Let me show you the new feature. So inside settings, uh, this is in the advanced settings area. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that we need to be taking a look at. Now, the first thing in here, a lot of new stuff that I'm still even myself getting to, to learn about here uh, is all about kind of maximizing the priority and the uh, you know I, optimization of your computer. So you can see here process priority, we can set to high, that's new or new-ish, I hadn't seen that before. Um, we can also send some additional information with networking, and this is really important. We have the ability to bind to an IP. Now this is uh, really great because if you know what your computer's IP address is, you definitely want it to bind to the ethernet connection as opposed to maybe unbeknownst to yourself using Wi-Fi, which doesn't have as good bandwidth access. This is all about bandwidth and making sure that OBS is optimizing the bandwidth that your computer has access to. Now here is the new uh, options here, dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. You can see actually, as soon as we, we hover over that, a little message comes up and it says, instead of dropping frames to reduce congestion, it dynamically changes the bitrate on the fly. Now notice this can increase the delay to viewers, so if there's a significant uh, sudden congestion, the bit rate will drop um, and it can take a few minutes to restore. So what's happening there? And then also I'll explain that in a second. And then we have enable new networking code and then we have low latency mode. Now you don't want to use low latency mode with the dynamic bit rate. So let me explain to you why you would want to use one or two of these. So first of all, the first box that we checked it, dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. This is ideal for you if you don't care too much about the latency, the time in between your stream and when it's getting to Twitch or Facebook or YouTube. Latency could be 60 seconds, depending on how long it takes to get from where you are to the Facebook Live servers, for example. Now, the good thing is, is that what's happening here is OBS is looking for drop frames and it's saying, oh no, you don't have enough bandwidth to support a 720p frame uh, a resolution by 60 frame per second stream at five megabits per second. Let's dynamically reduce the amount of bit rate. Think of bit rate as your pipeline your internet connection, your upload speed to the internet, uh, it, OBS will actually make it smaller so it stays more consistent and doesn't drop frames. Now, when your bit rate goes down, the quality of your stream does go down, but it's better than dropping frames and trying to push too much of a square peg through a round hole, if you know what I mean. So if you're not concerned if it's a church service or if it's a business presentation and you don't care if it's five or 10 seconds longer delay, this is going to be perfect for you, especially if you have maybe limited access to internet bandwidth. Now, uh, we can enabling the new networking code, that checkbox, I don't know what that does. I'm going to ask some of the guys at OBS that I know about that and post about it in our Facebook user group. Low latency mode would be if you really want to have super low latency, uh, the time in between your stream to the content delivery network because you really care about that interactivity with your audience. Hopefully that was a good explanation. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if you follow OBS and you use OBS. Check out our Facebook user group below. 
where a lot of us are chatting about how to optimize our OBS systems together. And hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I also have a book on OBS that maybe you might want to download for free at ptzoptics.com slash book to check that out. And don't forget to like our video. Let us know in the comments if you've had issues with bandwidth using OBS. I think this new feature is really going to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.